Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Yokan Black Phaser Max. <laughs> Dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, when you enjoy today's video, hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends to subscribe. Send a like, and I reply to all the comments. I want to get a, give a big shout out, a huge shout out to Mac and his team, because last night I had a wonderful time with some real dab professionals. That's right. I spent the evening with a group of people who are the pros, the dab pros in our area. And I want to give a shout out to them and thank them for allowing me to be part of their group. And it's a New York City venue. And it's very exciting because at this particular venue was the drop by Uncle of Blue Zushi, and I was able to get some. So we're gonna do a dab of the day today of Blue Zushi. But the topic's a very important topic, and I build these topics, you know, out of my life. This is a real-time topic. We're gonna to talk about social anxiety. Social anxiety happens to everyone. It can happen, I should say, to everyone. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it could. Social anxiety is when you get into a situation and you freeze. You're frozen. You start to sweat. You start to get cold on your fingertips. Your mouth gets dry. You begin to get withdrawn inside and look around at the people you're around and you might not know them. And What do you say? How do I start talking? When do I talk? Who do I talk to? You get very, very internally upset. This is called social anxiety. Talking about it because I suffer from it. Talking about it today because I suffered from it yesterday. In the early part of the evening, my social anxiety was such that I was just very quiet. I was quiet, kind of sat, smoking my Jimmy joint, relaxing in a group, but by myself, not really engaging, more or less watching because I didn't know anybody. So that in itself made me anxious. I didn't know anybody. Historically, in my work world, you didn't know anybody anyway. You'd walk in, cold, cold, knock on a door. That's what I did all my life. But you know what? I'm 65 now. And in social settings, it's still uncomfortable for me. I don't understand why. I'm trying to figure my way through it. And I think what happens is the following. I think I come into a situation after the traffic of New York City traffic from New Jersey, the commute time, the pain was absolutely up at a high level, incredibly high to stand on my feet. I don't believe I, I didn't bring in my cane with me. So I was dealing with physical pain. I was stressed out from traveling and I'm in a strange situation that I'm really looking forward to. All those things can turn into social catastrophe. What simply happens is you are like a percolator, like a coffee percolator back in the old days. Percolate, 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 and then finally pop out. That's what can happen in social anxiety situations. So we, people that have social anxiety, really have to understand in advance, prepare. I talked to Mrs. Stoner about it. All the way into New York City, we were talking about it. How do I deal with this? How do I handle it? And I wanna share with you the tips that I have from my experience that helps me. One of the first things we need to do when we're in a socially anxious situation is collect ourselves. I had a bag with me, had a hip pack with me. I wanted to make sure everything, and a bottle of water, everything I had was with me safely. Box number one is checked off. You are now safe with your possessions. Then you look around in the scenario you're in. I was in a chair with about eight people, three and three, total of eight and other people around. It wasn't really cramped and it wasn't really crowded. It was just people I didn't know. So instead of being sweaty, chilled, after about half an hour, I started to become acclimated to the physical surroundings I was in. Then I became comfortable. I think that's the second box. You got to be comfortable with the surroundings. Whether you're too hot, you're too cold, you got to deal with that. If you need a glass of water, you gotta get yourself hydrated. And then you have to look around you at the people. The people are very important because the people are gonna be engaged. 
You're coming into a situation that's new. They don't know you. They're already involved in their individual discussions, whatever they're doing, they're dabbing, they're talking, they're passing the dab rigs, or whatever it was, they were occupied. So you can't just sit there and scratch your head. You have to actually spontaneously know what to do. How do you engage? How do you say, hey, how are you over there? To strangers who have no interest in saying hello to you. Well, it's interesting what I chose to do. I chose to go to a common theme. Hey, that's a nice dab rig. What's that called? I started a conversation based on a thing instead of a person, that person or me. Instead of saying, how are you? I looked at a thing. And what that allowed us both to do is focus on the thing and then bring it around to, hey, how are you? A lot of times I myself am uncomfortable right off the top saying to a stranger, hi, how are you? My name's Senior Stoner, etc. So guess what? Talk about the weather. Hey, isn't it hot as hell out today? Oh, by the way, my name's Senior Stoner. You can break the ice. It's called breaking the ice. Has to get done. Once the ice is broken, then you're on the rink. Then you're on with your, your ice skates and you're moving along. And you can do your navigation like you would in any other social situation. Remembering these people are new. So we don't want to be loud and boisterous. We don't want to be all over the place and selfish. We want to be considerate. That's number three. You need to be considerate of the people around you. They're new people. They're going to make first impressions just like you're going to get a first impression of them. So in order for you to stay calm and not freak out and feel like they're all looking at you like you're doing something horrible, don't do anything horrible. Remember, there are people around you. There are individuals that see, hear, smell and taste just like you. So they're going to experience you just like you're going to experience them. What I recommend, what works for me and what worked for me last night was a gradual rolling out and relaxing of my barriers, I call them. I put up barriers to keep myself safe. Psychological barriers, not physical barriers. As you relax them, your body relaxes. As you engage more, I have goose pimples because it's so cool because it really works. As you engage more with the strangers, you feel more comfortable. Then guess what? They're not strangers anymore. The place is now something that you've been in for a bit. The seat is something you've been in a bit. The people are people you've been around for a bit. And now you're beginning to feel more comfortable. Yes, you're still having social anxiety because you're still trying to tap it down. You won't have the social anxiety gone until you're out of the situation but you're continuing to navigate through. How? One step in front of the other step, in front of the other step, and so on. You must move forward. You cannot retreat to the bathroom, lock the bathroom door, and think you can stay in there till all the people are gone. Not gonna work. You don't wanna leave because it's a wonderful thing you've been brought to for an exciting time. So what you've got to do we're all this way if you're like me and you have the anxiety attacks. You've got to own up to it. I'm having an anxiety attack. Not a heart attack. I'm having an anxiety attack. I'm dealing with social anxiety. Look at all these new people. My God, all the stimulation. Plus, I had to get here. It's not easy. And you know what? Those that say they don't get it are probably lying to us. Everyone gets it. By golly, everyone in sales that I ever met had fear of making those presentations. That's a version of social anxiety. So even if you're a professional salesperson, guess what? You still have social anxiety. Guess what? You found a way to deal with it. You found a way to go one step in front of the other step, in front of the other step, and so on. I made it home. I really had a great time. It was a wonderful experience, but I had to go through the grueling horror of an anxiety attack, a panic attack, a social anxiety attack in my favorite thing in the world happening. But I made it through. And guess what, everybody? You will too. Social anxiety 
happens to everybody, happens to everybody, happens to everybody. I am not the only person who's experiencing social anxiety, especially from a new thing, from a thing that I've never been to, etc. Well, guess what? Now we're going to take a dab with you guys of Blue Zushi, prepared by Uncle and Mac. Thanks, guys. Here we go. This is going to be exciting. I'm really, I can smell it over here. I am so excited about this particular dab. Mm. Am I excited? Here we go, everybody. We're going to take an electro blade and bring it out the right way today. Here we go. Just a little bit. Watch what this does to Senior Stoner. Here we go. With the blade. And blue sushi. Oops. No, no, no. It fell. I'm doing this very carefully, everybody, because this stuff was incredibly expensive. So I'm putting it in very carefully. I want this hit to be absolutely stupendous, magnanimous, incredible. I know you're all waiting for this. It's going to be worth waiting for. Here we go. I wish you all could taste this with me, not just watch it today. Here we go. Cheers. The dab train will be rolling momentarily with Blue Zushi. Cheers, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Where's my big hit? Hang on, guys. I'm working it here. Quick setup change. Is the glass clogged? Something's clogged. Hold on. I'm working it. I'm working it. Here we go. We have a clog. Can you believe this? On my favorite dab in the world, we have a clog. Well, we're going to now... Move to an alternate machine. And unfortunately, we're going to have to take another piece of my blue sushi. Now we're going to put it into the proxy, which is fully charged and ready to go. I'll take care of the clog on the phaser max shortly. Here we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Thanks for staying with me. We're going to be on the dab train momentarily with the blue sushi. And trust me, it's worth waiting for. Come on, Blue Zushi, let's go. Get the dab train rolling here. Here it comes. This was worth waiting for. Wow. 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 They should call that a sledgehammer. This is the real... <laughs> Excuse me. This is the real senior stoner. Thanks for joining me. You know what to do. And you too 
can tackle social anxiety. Don't give up. Do the things you love. You can do them. Cheers, everybody. Have a wonderful day.